What up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Stoked for you to be joining me here today. I've got something fun lined up. I'm gonna be giving you my additional income streams and what I've made outside of my business from the podcast haven from editing and producing content. I've got a side thing going on and I've talked about this a little bit in the past, but I'm gonna start getting more serious about documenting it because I do have a goal of making $3,500 a month strictly from content sponsorships, brand deals, et cetera. And I'm not quite there, not even halfway there, but I just want to show you like the reality of being a small creator and that you can still make money as a small creator. And if you hustle and if you have various sources of income from various places and various uh, sources of traffic, you can make money online with a small audience. So in this video, you're going to see my earnings from January, 2024 till June, 2024, uh, it's currently early July while I'm recording this, but that's the first six months of the year. So I figured I would show you that to start. And then moving forward uh, every month, I'm going to be giving you an update of what I made in the previous month. So you can see that it is possible to make money as a creator online in 2024, even if you've got a small audience. So without further ado, let's give it a go. All right, guys. So here you can see my trusty dusty spreadsheet. Uh, and these are my streams of income the Amazon Influencer Program, the Amazon Associates Program, that's two different programs, uh, podcast sponsorships, and then Instant Chapters, which I'm an affiliate for. And Instant Chapters is like an AI service that automatically generates time code for chapters for your YouTube videos. For Q1, that's January, February, and March, um, I left all these numbers open so that you can just see them right now on your screen. I'm gonna do a reveal for April through March. But um, as you can see, the podcast sponsorship, that's $300 a month. That's locked in for the year. So that's guaranteed money, which is great. And then the Amazon Influencer Program and the Amazon Associates Program, and of course, Instant Chapters, that's going to change from month to month. Um, I will say that it is fairly steady. I mean, there are variances, but I feel comfortable that it's like going to be at a certain level of income each month. So for the month of January, I made $1,003.79. Then in February, I made $1,269.60. Um, that was a big month, as you can see here, for the Amazon Influencer Program. Oh, and real quick, before we go any further, so the Amazon Influencer Program is a program where you make review videos for Amazon products that you use and that you love. So you probably know by now that there's Amazon written reviews for products. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see people leave all kinds of written reviews for the products that they purchased. But you can also make video reviews where you highlight the product, you talk about what you like, what you didn't like. And to get into that program, that's called the Amazon Influencer Program. Uh, you have to have me, quote unquote, an influencer. I hate that word, but basically uh, to sign up, you enter like your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube. They want to see that you have like a decent following and then they'll accept you into the program. Don't have the exact data because I don't think Amazon has released it on how many followers you need on a specific channel to be considered like worthy of being an influencer for Amazon. Um, I've heard of people getting in with a few hundred followers. I used my Instagram at the time. I have 3,000 followers on Instagram. So not a huge number. I guess not like a tiny number, but that got me into the program. And then the Amazon Associates program is where you like link to products in like written text. So it could be like on your blog. Let's say I've talked about microphones in the past. So I'll link to like a specific microphone that I genuinely like. Um, I link to it. And if someone clicks on that link and buys that product, I get a commission. The difference between the two is with the Amazon Associates program, you actually have to drive your own traffic to links that you put in your content. Again, it could be a blog, could be like a YouTube description, your podcast show notes, wherever uh, you create written content, you can link to things, but uh, you have to drive people to those links and then they have to purchase to get that commission. With the Amazon Influencer program, the great thing is that you're using Amazon's built-in traffic by reviewing their products People are searching for those products and often people like to get personal, like genuine reviews from people. And so they'll click on your review video, they'll watch it, and then you get a commission if they purchase that product because of watching your video. That's enough of that. So January through March, that was Q1 of this year. Let's move on to Q2. Uh, let's start with April here. So in April, 
I made $726.57 from the Amazon Influencer Program. Then I made $132.72 from the Amazon Associates Program. The podcast sponsorship, like I said, it's the same every month, $300. let us open those up. Uh, great to know that that's like guaranteed income. Um, instant chapters in the month of April, We, I did $75.40. Good month there. This is a grand total of dun, 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 $1,234.69. Not too shabby. Uh, and again, that's in addition to my main business, which is producing and editing podcasts for large businesses. Uh, so getting closer to that halfway, kind of. Um, let's open up May here. $459.29. That's a pretty big dip. I don't know why. Um, for the Amazon Influencer Program, I will say that for both of these, the Amazon Influencer and Amazon Associates, uh, I put a lot more effort into the associates. It's a lot harder. Um, but I like to write a lot of blog posts about content creation, podcasting, YouTube, growth strategies for your content, etc. cetera. Um, and then I link to products within those blog posts. But the reason uh, I do that is one, because the blogs help me rank on Google Thus, I get more eyes on my actual business. And then also, I can try to grow the blog through some affiliate income. So that's a lot harder to grow. Uh, but a big dip there as well. Don't know why. Don't know why. Um, let's see. Okay, May for instant chapters, $75.40. That stayed the same. Didn't lose any subscribers or gain any. For a total of $904.09. So not a great month. A big drop off there. A couple hundred dollars. To me, that's big. Um, and June just ended. So let's look at June. $677.97 uh, for the Amazon Influencer Program. So not, not bad. I'm happy with that. I need to get that up closer to 1000 And the way I can do that is by continuously adding videos of products that I have at my home or that I've bought on Amazon. I would say that like the last couple months, April, May, and June in the Amazon Influencer Program, I've, I have loaded, uploaded maybe five to 10 videos a month. But the great thing about this is it's like pretty damn passive. Like you create like a one to two minute video for a product, um, then you upload it. And then it kind of just lives there within Amazon on that product page. Uh, and you continue to make money. But the way that I can increase that is by uploading more videos for products that are more expensive because then the commission is higher. But it's pretty sick to make $677.97 without a ton of work. I mean, in the month of June, I probably spent an hour doing videos. Um, so that's great. I will say that prior to this, prior even to January, like last year, I really did hustle to get videos up. Um, to date, I'm at 424 videos, uh, which is a lot. Um, but when I really see people making money, like a lot of money, a couple thousand dollars a month, it's like when they cross over that thousand dollar, sorry, a thousand videos up on their Amazon influencer page. Um, so not even halfway there, but I've decided that instead of like casually just kind of uploading a few videos here and there this summer, I'm really going to crank up the videos on the Amazon influencer program because I want to make more money. And I've been a little bit lazy, although I have added things like I mentioned a few a month, uh, I'm going to ramp it up. And then fall tends to be like Q4 in fall as the holidays approach. That's the time to really ramp it up because that's when people are buying the most and you can make the most money. Okay, moving on. Amazon Associates for the month of June, $106.20. As you can see here, uh, it's been going down from like February and March. So a little bit of a concern there. And I think the reason that's down, I may have said I didn't know earlier. If I did, scratch that. I think I do know it's because um, the last couple months, well, I think it ended in April. There was this massive like Google helpful content update and a lot of websites got hit and their traffic dropped a lot. I lost probably about 30% of my traffic to all my blogs. And that's where all my Amazon associates links are 
within my blogs. You know, there's they're on YouTube as well, but the vast majority of like the clicks and the people um, buying stuff was via the blog, the links in the blog posts. And so, um, I have started to gain some of that traffic back, but definitely took a hit there. A lot of people did. That was the helpful content update. Um, don't need to go into that. That's like SEO talk. But in any case, uh, moving on. So obviously the podcast sponsorship. And then in June, via Instant Chapters, affiliate money, $67.30. Little drop off there. Need to uh, convert a few more paying customers to get my commissions up. Uh, and then total earnings for the month, $1,151.47. And guys, you can see here for a grand total, $6,806.51 for the year so far. Everything stayed the same and nothing changed. Uh, just under like $14,000 for the year, uh, which is great. Not complaining. Love that that's extra income to spend on <laughs> childcare for my daughter or things. Not for myself, but for the family, for the household. Uh, but again, if I can get that up to like $3,500 a month, it'll pay the mortgage, the property tax, and some other stuff. So that's the goal, getting there. Not really, but on my journey, on my way, uh, $6,806.51 for the first half of 2024. I wanted to share that with you. I used to share income updates, uh, but I'm going to get back into it because I think it's fun. And the real goal of it is just to show you that you can make money as a creator from your blog, from your YouTube channel, from your podcast, from Amazon. And unless you've got a massive channel with massive like brand deals and sponsorships where you're getting thousands of dollars a month from that specific like company or that specific deal, you're going to want to spread yourself out, in my opinion, across all these different um, revenue streams. That way, one, as a small creator, you can increase revenue. And two, uh, if one kind of goes south, you've got another one to pick you up. And then the goal is to grow all of them get them to a steady point if that's possible. I think it is. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that inspired you. Go out there, create, make some money, hit some brands up, try to get some sponsorships for your content. Do what you got to do. Just hustle, grind. There's no easy way to do it. Uh, you just got to get out there, make some moves, send some emails, connect with some people. And that's it, guys. Keep listening, keep engaging, keep creating. I'm out.